Hi, my name is Graydon Blair from Utah Biodiesel Supply, and today we're going to make a batch of biodiesel from canola oil. It's one of my favorites to make it from because of the gel point properties. First of all, to make this batch, you're going to need some canola oil that can be picked up at a local grocery store, some methyl alcohol, again, local grocery store or auto parts store. This is a yellow bottle of heat, 100% methyl alcohol. Some chemicals, this is potassium hydroxide. You can get this from Utah Biodiesel Supply. Um, I like potassium. You can also use sodium hydroxide, but potassium likes to dissolve better in methanol. You'll need something to measure out your oil with. This goes up to a liter. We're going to measure 500 milliliter batch today. Something to measure out your catalyst with. This is a cup and a scale, which we'll use. A funnel to pour the oil in with. And then something to measure the methanol to put the catalyst in. You'll need a pan to heat the oil with. And I've got a burner down here to heat that a thermometer to test the temperature of the oil and then something to mix it all in. We'll be using a jar, just a cheap old mason jar and then safety gloves. When we're finished this is what our fuel will look like. This is a batch I made the other day. Our first step is to measure out the oil. So we're going to get 500 milliliters of oil and put it into here and then put it in the pan. So I'm just going to measure that out And I have a 500 milliliter mark that I'm shooting here for. And it's okay if I go a little bit over or under, but I want to try and get as accurate as I can. I then put my oil into my pan. Turn on the heat. Put the thermometer in. And I can begin moving to the next step. The next step is to measure out some methanol. This is a brand new bottle. It's sealed, which you want to use. So we're going to now measure out 100 milliliters of methanol. Get right to our 100 milliliter mark. Step number three is to weigh out the catalyst. We've taken out our scale, we've put our container on top of it, and we've used the tear function on our scale to put it to zero, so now it's time to measure it out. For a 500 milliliter batch, we're going to use 3.5 grams of potassium hydroxide. It's exactly half of what you'd use in a liter batch. We very carefully put this into the cup until we get 3.5. We got a little bit high. We'll put some back. And that's fine. We're 3.55 or just a little bit over. It's not a problem. It's now time to put the chemical into our methanol. Pour it in the top. and slowly start stirring it around until it gets dissolved. This will take a little bit of time, typically about 10 to 15 minutes. As you're waiting for the catalyst to dissolve into the methanol, it's a good idea to check the temperature of your oil. We're sitting right at about 91 degrees Fahrenheit, which is getting up there. Our goal is to get up to about 130 degrees for this mini batch. After your oil is to temperature, you'll take it off the heat and put it in the jar. Being careful not to burn yourself. And then get ready to make the biodiesel. The next step is to take your dissolved methanol and put it into your heated biodiesel. It's important that you don't put it in when the temperature is too warm. I've checked this. You want it to be under about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll put this in. You notice the color change is almost immediate as that methanol sits on the top. And I'm going to just start shaking that. 
and you'll notice that it will go through various color changes in the next few minutes. I'm going to shake it for about five minutes rather aggressively. After you've mixed it for about five minutes, just set it somewhere and let it sit for a bit. Uh, it needs to sit for about 24 hours for it to fully settle out. This biodiesel was also made from new oil and you'll notice that the biodiesel on top almost went clear. There's a middle layer of glycerin and then this white layer is because this has been sitting in a cold area and the biodiesel is actually gelling right on the bottom. If I was to remove all the glycerin and let this cool all the way this would actually gel all the way to a uh, cloudy color. But this is what your biodiesel is typically going to look like. You'll get this separation on the bottom, clear on top, and this middle layer should be crystal clear uh, if it's not cold in your area. After you remove the glycerin from your biodiesel, you'll have biodiesel on top, and as you let it sit for a couple days, it will begin to become crystal clear. This is biodiesel again that we made from canola oil a while ago, and as you can see, you can see right through it. To recap, we took 500 milliliters of oil, mixed it with 100 milliliters of methanol, 3.5 grams of potassium hydroxide, mixed the methanol and the potassium hydroxide together, heated the oil to 130 degrees Fahrenheit, mixed it all together, and we had biodiesel. And this is what it looks like when it's done. You can make biodiesel from any organic oil that you find, such as peanut oil, soybean oil, canola oil, safflower, palm, you name it, as long as it's organic, you can make biodiesel out of it. If you'd like to learn more about making biodiesel, visit Utah Biodiesel Supply at utahbio.com.